I received this from the Zombie Wood Turner. Uh, so what he told me was, is this is a giant sea kelp holdfast. So basically the root system. Uh, the giant sea kelp out in the Pacific Ocean. So you can guess he's over in California there. Uh, I have turned some of this and it creates some issues. Uh, it's wood, but all the little critters that are living on this piece uh, are calcium and it's like turning seashells. So it's really rough on the tools. I am going to blend it in with some of this, kind of like out in here, and Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll see, right? Okay, so you see all these little, these little, uh, little tube worms and things that are growing in here? Yeah, those are creating issues. <laughs> but anyways, let me see what I can do with this and uh, see how I'm going to make it fit in this bucket. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how to fit this in there. So if you look at this, I don't know how focused it is. There are chunks of dirt. This is just going to destroy my tools. Chunks of dirt and a seashell in there. But the agreement was, if I made one, he'd turn it also. So, I will make that in another video. Oh, that's got to go. See that in there? <laughs> I'll make his in another video, and then y'all can go over and see see him go through the torture of it. But right now, <laughs> oh, this is going to be awful. Uh, I have fitted this to the best of my abilities, like this. I am not sure how to keep that in there. <laughs> I think I am going to probably... Try that. I'm probably don't you just put? Um, oh come on, just stick to the wall. Just stick to the wall. There you go. Stick to the wall right there. That's good. Uh, I'll put a mixy stick on there and hold that down. I need to also put a piece of wood in there. I'm um, just gonna pick a piece of scrap so I got something to adhere to and not just a solid chunk of resin and that will also take up some space <laughs> let me get some um resin mixed up and we'll get that poured you know of course i'm gonna go with the oceans theme because that came out the ocean so Alright, a little light, ocean blue, transition stuff in, in here, and we're going to go up quite a bit because it changes colors. Alumilite, oh, come on up here, blue, uh, I am going to go with uh, two drops. Last time it wasn't quite dark enough for me, so one and two. Ranger alcohol inks, or Jim Schultz, or Holtz, or Mermaid, in in this one. And yeah, I'm just going to give it a squirt. And then I am also going to use the Pearl X Interference Blue in this one. That in there. <laughs> I'm also going to use some of this pigment paste in there. <laughs>
That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna mix up some more and probably roll this out in my barn where it's cold and try to keep the exothermic reaction down. Okay, out in the cold part of the barn. <laughs> it's not really what I wanted to be doing today. Down here. I don't want to mix up anymore, so hopefully uh, when I compress the air in there, that witness line falls deeper. Hopefully. Because <laughs> that's, that's going to be way too much resin. I expected that to take up more space than it does, and it don't. So, uh, I'll pour some more in this again. Uh, not that I'm going to force you to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get that out of there. You can see this is my resin. That's half that bucket. I didn't realize we were putting that much in there. That takes us, uh, well, minus some of that, but six inches. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, uh huh. <laughs> we'll see if it comes out. There's a lot of resin and a lot of heat. That looks cool. Oh, I can't see it. Let me fix this for you. Take a screenshot. <laughs> All right, here. Let's put it back there. How's that look? Oh, yeah. Let's come down and take a closer look. Woo! You know what that looks like? That looks like a thumbnail picture, maybe. All right. Hang on a second, guys. We gotta take a thumbnail here. Uh huh. Focus there. Take a thumbnail. I'll sum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, now you know how I get some of the thumbnails. Sometimes I take what uh, YouTube picks for me, too. So, Alright, so I didn't expect to get that out of there. Uh, I did not. I did not expect that much resin. Uh, well, that's five and a half. Um, hopefully, I can hide that ugly old witness line right there. Uh, just looking at it, I think I'm going to make it like a another chamber pot, I guess. And I can use this to, to roll it in, maybe. Alright, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure that when I get into all of this, it's just going to destroy my tools. That's all. All the way around there but we'll see uh, there, there's another layer on top here I didn't let, let you guys see uh, there was still exothermic cracks in the second pour also so I was just filling them while it was in there and it's just a blue I intended to turn it away you can see it's not not very thick so but yeah let me uh, uh, yeah figure out what, what I'm doing there <laughs>
Alright, so let's focus there. Okay, there. Alright. I had it up to 450 when I shut off. Apparently, I have to walk back up that high. <laughs> so, right now, this is 290. That's where it quit shaking. And it's not shaking now, so it's 340. 390. That's 435. Let me take some off of there. chunk of it right there and there and there this is not going well at this slow speed So, <laughs> this is not going well. So that's a big exothermic crack there. Uh, and I believe that's another one there. This, this is rough. I get into this section right here, and it's just eating the tools up. Uh, I knew it was going to do it. It's really irritating me. Uh, the tear out is awful, because it's just bouncing off everything. And So I'm going to try to put a new bit on the carbide cutter there. It looks like another crack there. Try to get some kind of kind of shape to it. I don't know. I, I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying. It is not doing what I want.
<laughs> all right so I gotta admit I gave up on traditional and carbide tools and I decided to bring out the power gouge <laughs> and I'm still having a rough time cutting this you would not believe how hard that is uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get just a basic shape here and I'm giving up on it <laughs> Uh, but this is working a whole lot better than everything else. I'm just eating up the tools. I can't touch it with a traditional tool. And aside from using square carbide cutters, I'm out of round ones now. I've used them all up. So uh, I'm going to try to shape this out of here. Shape that out anyways. I'm, obviously, I'm going to have to fill that. And I think there's one here. And then there's, uh, and I believe one there, but we'll see when I, once I get done, where, <clears throat> where we're going to be at. And then I hope, I hope that the, the inside goes a whole lot smoother. But, um, yeah, this seems to be a power carving event at the moment. <laughs> I still can't get this lump out right here. So, uh, we'll show you a little bit of that and I'm not going to hold you on to it for very long. Of course, there, there's that that's really irritating. See what I mean? Barely touched it. Uh, so you see what I still have to go. I, I barely touched that. Yeah, that's gonna be it there. Let's see if I can get the Get that lump smoothed out of it here. Maybe sanding it or something, but um, I can't go any faster than this I have to chase the lathe all over the place and all that's doing is really irritating me <laughs> So I have to clean the bottom up flatten it off and I can't get it to spin fast enough without Shaking and it clearly is because this this is a big chunk of resin right here even though I got all this in here, it's just look and go right back. So that's my issue is I'm off balance. <sighs> It's jagged, but look at that. Just blew it all out of there. It's going way too slow. You saw the chunks missing there? All right, so I'm going to try to get this shaped, and then uh, I, bah, I don't even know. It, it's difficult. <laughs>
I'm going to use Starbond on here. And hopefully we can stiffen this up some. Nothing wants to work right, and I'm totally irritated with this, so. Four sixty seventy five, and she's starting to wobble already. So, yeah. So as you can see, <laughs> this is going really slow. Uh, so I have to order some tools. I don't have tools to complete this right now. And I have better than just about 30 minutes into this video. And I have not even bothered to get that hollowed yet. Uh, so I actually ordered some carving tools for this. And I gotta find my shield or the guard for it. And it's kind of bugging me that it's not on there. I took it off for something else I was doing, but uh, so right now this is going really slow. And I put ventilation down here, not that you guys can see it because somebody zoomed it in. So there you go. So that ventilation, and I was just shooting it down in there to try to get rid of some of this. And I don't, I don't know what the issue is. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, dirts and shells in here or the fact that like I left this for a week or so and. Uh, this resin gets really hard when it cures, maybe. But like right here, I can see a piece of shell right here. So I'm sure that's causing some issues. But this wobble in it, I, I mean, look, I can just let go of it. So you, you see that it's still off balance, and, and I took all the, the resin out of here. And I've also got a lot of cracks in it. And I'm worried about it exploding, you know. There's here. So this is not going to be a turning. It's going to be more of a carving. There's a first for everything, right? I will most likely leave you guys with this right here. Uh, it's not going too bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to hopefully get this finished up next week. It'll be a couple days before my parts get here, or my, my tooling. Uh, I ordered a whole different kit, like four or five different wheels. So hopefully we, we can get this out of here for the most part. And, and yeah, I'm just going to do a wood carving, I guess. So... You know how it goes. How not to turn a hybrid bull. <laughs> or, you know, do what you got to do to get it done. So, hopefully I have it done for you all next week. And, you know, obviously I'm going to put a resin coat on this. So you all have a great week. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>